Okay, now let's come to this uh, transformer, a very interesting experiment called open circuit test. Right now, on open circuit test, the purpose is to do an experiment to get the value of RCLV and XMLV. Okay, through this experiment, these two values can be calculated easily. Now, what is entailed in this experiment is that you have a transformer, right? And you put a voltage at the low voltage side and you leave the high voltage side open circuit and that's why it's called open circuit test and we use 3 meters 3 meters one, we use a voltmeter to measure the voltage use an ammeter to measure the current and use a watt meters to measure the power the power consumed okay, so this is these 3 readings basing, basic, use, using these 3 readings you are able to calculate these 2 values now, how is it so that it's possible? Uh, let's take a look. Now, as we say open circuit test, we leave this one open circuit. Right? When we open circuit, uh, uh, an electric circuit, there's no current. Right? So, there's no current drawn. Zero ampere here. So, the primary side will also draw no current. Because your secondary side, you don't need any energy or need any power, so I won't supply you, right? So the only circuit that is working now is only the iron core circuit. Iron core circuit. So the power, the voltage that we measure, we call it VOC, open circuit voltage. And the current that we measure, we call it IOC, open circuit current. Okay? And the power that we measure, the power meters that we, we use, is the power that we measured in this resistor. Because the power, we are talking about real power, and real power happens in the um, resistors. resistors. So the equivalent circuit of an open circuit test is only this parallel branch, because the other side, there are effectively no current, right? So the equivalent circuit of an open circuit test becomes a parallel branch. Right, so you have the voltage that you apply to the circuit, VOC, and the current that you measure. Okay, and this is the RCLV and XMLV. Okay, now VOC is the voltage that you apply to the circuit, and let's take it as a reference, so it's zero degree, zero degree. The current will be lagging, minus theta lagging the voltage, because this circuit is an inductive circuit. Right, remember in our AC circuit, AC theory, the inductive circuit current lacks voltage. Okay, let's talk about the experimental result. We have obtained the power meters reading. We have obtained the current reading. We have obtained the voltmeters reading. So we use three meters. Power meters, emitters, voltmeters. Right? The voltmeter, of course, we put it in parallel to measure it. The emitter we put a emitter in series, right? And the power meters we connect them accordingly, and the power obtained is actually this power. All right. So what we can do, the first step, it is actually a series of steps to get the answer. Uh, the first method is VOC equal to VOC, IOC cosine theta. Remember, V equal VI cosine theta. Yeah. So you have this reading, you have this reading, you have this reading. You do not have this. So cosine theta can be found. And once cosine theta is found, we can find the inverse to get a theta. And we substitute this theta into the current. Right? So I have IOC minus theta. So I have these two values. Uh, the emitter's reading and the theta that I found, I put it here. Why I put a negative sign? Because current lacks voltage. This is a polar form. Make it into rectangular form. When you are making it into rectangular form, I have two numbers. And these two numbers are the, these two currents. Yeah, this is IC, this is minus JIF. Right, make sense? Polar number made into a rectangular number. So I've already got these two values. Then using Ohm's law to find these two values, RC and XMLV, I just use V over I. Okay, which V? This is a parallel circuit, this is VOC. So here's VOC, am I right? So it's VOC 
divided by which i? You want this, of course, divided by i c. Right? We only talk about the magnetic magnetic. And for the magnetizing reactants, V O C divided by I M. Alright, and that is called the open circuit test. And this is the method for you to derive the value of the call loss resistance at the magnetizing reactants at the low voltage side. Okay? Shall we repeat it one more time? Because it sounds a bit difficult, right? So let's repeat it one more time. It's very mechanical and it's very systematic. Power meter 3D, ammeter 3D, voltmeter 3D. First step, use B equal to VI cos I theta. Alright, and phi cos I theta. Find the inverse to get the theta. Substitute the theta into the emitter's reading with a minus sign. Polar form make into rectangular form. And use Ohm's law to find RC and XM using V over I. So it's VOC divided by IC. VOC divided by IM. So with that, the answer will be out. The values of the call loss resistor and magnetizing reactants are usually big in numbers because they are parallel parameters. Okay? Now, the power, the power dissipated in RC, right, is called call loss power. Call loss power. Right? That's why the resistor is called call loss. Okay? So, you can actually use V square over R to find, yeah, which are R C L V, which V L V. If you have referred your R C to the H V side, then you say R C H V. Then the potential must be V H V because you are now using the high voltage side, isn't it? Right. So to find the call loss of a transformer, you can uh, effectively use V square over R formula. If you have R C L V, use L V. If it's R C H V. Okay, and this is a loss, a uh, power loss in the transformer. Thank you.